I wasn't surprised by another delay at the last school board meeting. Because no matter how hard you try to implement these discriminatory policies in the right way, you are never going to find a right way to do the wrong thing. And Governor Youngkin's policies are wrong. This is Cody Connor, a dad living in Virginia Beach who's doing everything in his power to fight for the rights of one of the right wing's favorite targets, the LGBTQ plus community. One of the ways you could tell is because you have speakers from groups like Moms for Liberty here to support them. We've covered the Moms for Liberty group multiple times now, but just in case you are familiar with what they do. Ziegler is a co-founder of Moms for Liberty, the very group who slings groomer accusations at gay people and is obsessed with banning books about MLK and thinks a kid's book about hugging seahorses is too risque. The group's mission is clear, to take over school boards and steer local politics to the far right. Bridget is essentially an anti-gay crusader who has now admitted to having sex at least once with another woman. In fact, here she is in 2022, standing behind Ron DeSantis when he signed the Don't Say Gay bill into law. Hypocritical much? Bridget Ziegler has already resigned from a different position as vice president of school boards for the Leadership Institute, an organization that provides training for conservative activists. Moms for Liberty co-founder Bridget Ziegler has been in the news recently, not just for this scandal involving her husband, which actually just led to him being ousted as the Florida GOP chair, but also for getting publicly humiliated by a former student from the Sarasota County School District where she serves on the school board. You are a reminder that some people view politics as a service to others, while some view it as an opportunity for themselves. On this board, you have spent public funds that could have been used to increase teacher pay to change our district lines for political gain, remove books from schools, target trans and queer children, erase black history, and elevate your political career, all while sending your children to private schools because you do not believe in the public school system that you've been leading. My question is why doesn't an elected official using our money to harm our students and our teachers for her gain seem to matter as much to us as her having a threesome does? Bridget Ziegler, you do not deserve to be on the Sarasota County School Board, but you do not deserve to be removed from it for having a threesome. That defeats the lesson we've been trying to teach you, which is that a politician's job is to serve their community, not to police personal lives. Bridget, you deserve to be fired from your job because you are terrible at your job, (laughs) not because you had sex with a woman. Exactly. The hypocrisy of Ziegler and her fellow Moms for Liberty members is par for the course, but the heart of this student's, Connor's, and our criticism is that these groups cause real material harm to communities who, more often than not, are already under siege from the right wing as is. And speaking of Florida, districts being infiltrated by right wing zealots. Once we complain about a book, they have five days to remove it. They have to put it in quarantine until either they remove it permanently or a committee will get together and read the book and um, decide whether or not it needs to be removed. And they didn't do that. Have you brought this to the school board and to the school? Yes, multiple times. We, um, in fact, I've read some of these books out loud at the school board meetings to try to get the word out to parents who are listening at home. Um, And they don't stop me. Under the law, if they stop you, they have to remove the book. They won't stop us. They are arguing, at first they tried to say these books aren't in the schools. Then we proved that they were in the schools and we made a big deal about it publicly. And then they said, okay, well, some of the books are in the schools, but we've taken care of it now. We have a process in place where, you know, as we find them, we're getting rid of them. They're leaving them on the shelves. This is the head librarian of the school district. Mm -hmm. This is a screenshot showing she has been a member of Santa Rosa County Stop Moms for Liberty since May. What is Stop Moms for Liberty? So Moms for Liberty, not Stop Moms for Moms for Liberty is, is a group that's bringing attention to this, trying to get rid of these books, trying to get, um, we're a not-for-profit that um, brings parents' rights, you okay. know, fights for parents' rights, gets parents' voices heard to the school board. We basically just fight in number. There's strength in numbers, so we got together to do that. Stop Moms for Liberty are the people who are against Moms for Liberty. We have a school board member who is hosting meetings. 3429 personal local valid no flag. 10-4. Straight there, straight back. 
Um, Notice how she catches herself and rephrases the mission of Moms for Liberty once she realizes that banning books from public schools may not seem normal to anyone who isn't hopped on hate for the LGBTQ plus community, which Cody Connor has an excellent response to. The good guys don't get declared extremist groups by human rights organizations. Never in history have the good guys been the ones trying to ban books. Never in history have the good guys been a segregationist group pushing to legislate identity. Never in history have the good guys been closely connected with and supported by hate groups like the Proud Boys. And the good guys don't put Hitler quotes for inspiration on the front of their newsletters. Newsflash, they're the bad guys. They're the bad guys here supporting bad policy. And if you support the same bad policy, guess what? You're one of the bad guys too. When you look around and see only the wrong people support what you're doing, you're doing the wrong thing. That if your love makes somebody not want to be alive, it's not love. That's not love. The only right a parent has is the right to responsibility. And if you need somebody else to tell you who your kid is, you're probably not that good a parent. And some are going to get up here and tell you how it's the law. Well, I'd remind you that slavery and segregation also used to be the law here in Virginia and that there is no right way to do the wrong thing. And this was far from the last time that Connor spoke out and stood up for what's right. I noticed Human Rights Month was on the consent agenda tonight. Are you just searching for ways to showcase your hypocrisy or are you going to change your policies and give your LGBTQ students back their human rights? Attacks on the LGBTQ community, attempts to ban books, Meeting after meeting, I've listened to speakers exhort you to teach Christianity in our schools. You know that 27% of the American population doesn't affiliate with any religion? Not to mention the many, many other religions that are in our society. But if you want to teach your child your religion, take them to church. Homeschool them. Put them in private school. But you do not get to force your religion on everyone. And that's who public school is for. Everyone. But whether it's the LGBTQ community or books or religion, it's all the same intent to attack and poison our country's greatest strength, our diversity. Diversity is what has advanced us this far. And it is diversity that will continue to move us forward. If you really want to know what it takes to make America great, the answer is it takes everybody. And that should be taught in our schools. Thank you. Brilliant again from Connor. Although he was unsuccessful in convincing the school board to deviate from Governor Glenn Youngkin's bigoted policies about trans and non-binary students, seeing someone like this getting involved in local politics gives us hope that our school boards and town councils may not be completely overrun by the right wing like they have been working towards for decades decades. Make sure to check out Cody Connors TikTok with the link down in the description box below and show him some love.